Give me some of that. I love you. I love you too. Hey beautiful people, how are you? My name is Connor. And I'm Brittany. And our little baby is not here right now, but <laughs> we wanted to talk about Ilya and their lack of clothing. Yeah. Yeah, we get a lot of questions about that. And I think it's a fun area just to share about because Ilya is just about four months old. It'll be four months in like almost a week. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've they've never worn clothing. Yeah, and it's, that's fun. it's really fun, you know? And of course, like that has to do partially with where we live in the world, which is in Austin, Texas, and it's been like 100 degrees. So <laughs> going <laughs> We don't outside, wear clothing unless we, we have to. Yeah, we really try not to wear clothing. And actually in Austin, um, uh, it's top, top optional, I guess. Yeah. Like so we, we can all just be basically in Speedos if we want, walk yeah. around anywhere in Austin. So we basically are trying to do that in in conjunction with Ilya. Although they're, they're, yeah, their diaper in the world is not so much a Speedo, but yeah. you get what I'm saying. Yeah, and to clarify, like I'm not necessarily walking around in a Speedo every day. <laughs> it does right. sound nice to get to that point someday, but really that's mostly at Barton Springs and at home, like it yeah. feels really comfortably naked. Um, <laughs> Yeah, their diaper is a cloth diaper. We wear, they wear the Alba baby diapers out in the world. Mm -hmm. And at home, we kind of have a combination of sometimes they're diapered when they're in like the Tula, the front pack, or it makes sense. And then sometimes they're not diapered and we have been playing around with elimination communication. I know people have asked about that. So we'll make an update video we'll on that We'll do an update, too. yeah. Yeah, so, and, and we just find that um, we don't see any reason to put clothes on them and really it seems like a, like an odd thing to do at this point in their life and I think there was like one time where we, we have a lot of cute clothes that people have given us and they were like just laying down on the bed and we have these tie pants and like a shirt or something we just laid them on top of Ilya and it was like oh that's, oh, that's cute. what they would look like with clothes. That's what they look like with clothes and then that was that and we have talked about you know when it does get cooler of course we'll we'll ha you know have socks have hats, we'll have pants and shirts available, but you know, we'll just kind of see. I, I can envision them being more wrapped up and close to us. Um, but certainly if it's chilly out, you know, it makes sense to give them clothes. Right now, it is so hot. Like when oh we're outside, goodness. there's just no reason for it. And we see a lot of babies in the world that are clothed. And you know, I think this is a cool time in life to practice, to just like give a baby the opportunity to be skin in the world, you know, without any barrier. And I really feel like that's Ilya's preference. Um, of course, they can let us know. They can they let us know as older. they get older. But yeah, it feels really, it feels right. It feels really good. And I think the assumption around babies and clothing is, is just uh, maybe something we want to dispel and just say like, hey, we haven't done it and you probably don't have to either unless there's like a, a, a good reason for it. And sometimes we don't have a reason, we are just doing it. We're like, oh, well, we're going out in the world, our baby needs clothes. But like we go shopping, we go we go everywhere. We go to the, like yeah, whatever we need so to do. We go to dance, we dance with them for like two hours a couple times a week. And they're just in their little Alva diaper chilling. Yeah. And no one, I mean, people love it. You know, you get to see this cute, healthy baby and people just love it. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. I feel like I really naturally noticed from the beginning, like not wanting to put clothing on them. I, I really wanted to be skin to skin with them all yeah. the time. I still really love that we're skin to skin with them. Mm -hmm. I think that there's a lot of energy and love and data that's exchanged th through our skin in that way. And I just noticed feeling like, oh, that like the idea of putting clothing on them has felt like, oh, that would be uncomfortable. Like just imagining like trying to fit their limbs <laughs> yeah. and things and like how that could, like I can imagine what that would feel like on my skin and just, yeah, I just get the sense that this feels better for them. Mm -hmm. And I know we've gotten a lot of questions. You already sort of addressed it, but about like, well, what if this happened or what if the weather changed or like, what if you were, wherever and I yeah. think that like we are not saying like this is what we're gonna do forever or right. even that we're like dogmatic about it we're just saying like this is what feels best that's why we're doing it like when things when something else feels better that's what we'll do absolutely yeah and I think again just like not making this assumption that we have to do things a certain way but actually like 
using our whole system to make those decisions. Yeah. And that's what's just what we're trying to do around Ilya. You know, we have a lot, we've, we've read a lot of great books on parenting. We've listened to a lot of great things on parenting, on self-love, self-care, and how to implement that in a child. But ultimately it's coming back to just like our intuitive nature, what makes sense to us and our guts as to how to take care of Ilya. And I think we're just nailing it. Yeah. I think we're rocking it hard. And I think what we want to present here on this channel is the opportunity to encourage one another to, to tap in with that intuitive space and to believe that you really do have a lot of knowledge in there. And maybe copying each other is helpful to try things out, but ultimately like doing it in a way that makes sense to you yeah. is probably going to be the, the best thing for you and your family and for the world at large. And that's always kind of what we're trying to promote uh, in every video <laughs> we make. Yeah. So. Yeah, I love that you're highlighting that. That really feels like at the core of everything. Yes. For me. Yes. Give me some of that. I love you. I love you too. I love our baby. I love that so much. They're going to be back them. so soon. Yeah, they're on a little walkie-poo. Yeah. All right. Okay. Bye. Mwah.